The next tool set that we're going to look at are the lasso tools and you'll find those directly under the marquee tools and the lasso tools give us three options. We have the lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool, and the magnetic lasso tool. And we're going to use the uh, tomato picture again just to demonstrate these. They work pretty much the same as the marquee tool except that you have a lot more control. You're not confined to a specific shape like a rectangle or an oval. With the primary lasso tool, it's a freehand tool that allows you to draw around your object whatever it is that you want to select. So let's say that we wanted to select just this tomato right here. We can uh, simply choose the lasso tool, left mouse click and hold the left mouse button down and as we draw it will create a selection everywhere we draw. It's very precise and it's a little bit challenging to get it exact but there you have as soon as I release my mouse button it turns that into a selection. Okay now f the freehand version the regular lasso tool can work in some areas pretty handily especially if you don't need to do precise outlining like we were attempting to do uh, in this particular case. However, if you want to do uh, precise selections, the lasso tool may not be your best option. The polygonal lasso tool actually gives us a little bit more control. I'm going to zoom in here on my tomato a little bit. And by the way, I should point out, you'll notice that with the, uh, let me just select the polygonal lasso tool, and you'll notice that my cursor looks like the tool. If I turn the cap lock key on, it turns into a crosshair. Okay, so you might want to keep that in mind if you need to do something a little bit more precise uh, and want to work with a crosshair. Turning the cap lock on will uh, convert the tool into a crosshair. Turning it off will show the pointer with the picture of the tool. Okay, now the way the polygon lasso tool works different than the regular lasso tool is that it creates points. Every time you click your left mouse button it creates a new point and these are straight lines so like you're going if I click here you'll notice that it it's creating a straight line and wherever I click the next time it continues the selection until I get back here to the beginning. If I'm not exactly sure where the beginning is or I'm done clicking and I'm close you can double click and that'll fill in the, the gap, okay? But you can also use it to be a little bit more precise in uh, selecting an object, especially if you zoom in. So like with this tomato here, I can just start clicking points around the edge of the tomato, and you'll notice that it's a little bit easier for me to follow than trying to freehand draw it with the regular lasso tool. So I can just go right around here until I'm finished. And let's say that I'm finished. And whenever I get up close to my starting point, which in some cases, depending on the image, may be a little challenging to see, you'll notice that uh, a little circle appears whenever I'm close to my start point. And that lets me know when the circle appears that if I left mouse click again, it'll complete the selection like that. Okay. And then um, the last tool that we have for our lasso is the magnetic lasso. And the magnetic lasso is kind of cool because it uses edge detection to guesstimate where the edge is of whatever you're silhouetting around. And this works better in some cases than others. But if I left mouse click to create an anchor point and just start drawing around the edge of the image, as long as I'm close, the program will automatically insert anchor points for me, you'll notice. All that I'm doing is moving my mouse. I don't even have the mouse button pushed down. So it's guesstimating where those anchor points should be. Or I can also hold the mouse button down and it adds more anchor points, you'll notice, in very regular 
uh, fashion or as I'm dragging along I can choose where I want an anchor point to appear just by clicking and the selection will follow the edge you can see here it's following the edge and it's usually a good idea to go fairly slow um, it can be tricked but it's a much easier way of trying to silhouette an object out as you can see here and there's the circle so I can click and so what can we do with this well the same thing that we could with the regular um, marquee tools that we looked at earlier I can bring up uh, color replace or hue and saturation control U in this case again or command U, and we can change just the color of the tomato so whenever I zoom out deselect that you notice that this tomato is green and all the others are red so it gives you the opportunity to go in and uh, create some really cool effects without a lot of extra work